we've shimmed the needle and we've drilled the slide. Before we put it back in here and put everything back together though, we want to roll the carburetor over so that we can get to the bottom and take care of the idle mixture screw. What you're going to need to do to get that thing rolled over is first of all, don't put the cap back on. You need to have the clearance in order to roll it over. We need to remove the throttle cables, pull this screw out here, and once we've got the plate off, we'll be able to have enough slack where we can get the cables off of the carburetor itself. Pop it off, take this one out first, then rotate this up, pull that out, set the cable aside. Now again, going back in and pulling out on the choke cable to get it out of the ferrule on the carburetor, we can then start to rotate the carburetor over. That's about as far as it'll rotate. In order to get to the bottom of the carburetor now, we're going to have to take the heat shield off the exhaust to give us a little bit more clearance and a little bit more angle of attack for the drill. So now with that off, we're able to see the bottom of the carburetor get to the plug that's in here. So let's go inside and take a look at this stuff. The KLR comes from the factory pretty lean and that is done to meet emissions requirements. When we shim the needle we're fixing the mid-range mixture. What we need to do now is go on and take a look at what we can do to fix the uh, low range and the idle mixture. We're going to need to roll the carburetor over this way so that we can get to the bottom and particularly to get to this boss right here. Inside this boss is the idle mixture needle and uh, it also controls the low range circuit. So what we need to do to roll it over is get the cables off and so we'll remove this plate with its cables attached to it and just lay the cables aside. And that will give us enough slack so that we can roll the carburetor over. So rolling the carburetor over we need to get it far enough so that we can see this boss right here and it's got a plug in it so that you can't tamper with it. It's easy to get out though if you exercise a little bit of caution. You take a drill, center it up very carefully and go ahead and drill through that plug then take a sheet metal screw screw it into the plug, get a good purchase on it, and just pop it out. It's, uh, it's only about that thick or so, so it's not too difficult to pop out. And that will reveal the, uh, the idle mixture head. And so take a small screwdriver and turn it in until it just seats. Usually you'll find that they're out a uh, turn or so, not much more than that. And what we want to do is turn them back out about one and three quarter turns for a stock exhaust or maybe another half turn or so if you've got a modified exhaust or an aftermarket exhaust and you don't need to crank down on that just turn it in until it it seats and stop and then as I said a, a turn and three quarters out will be good so there's a turn there's a turn and a half there's a turn and three quarters that's all you really need to do and then just roll the carburetor back over and reattach everything. Reassembly of the throttle cables is pretty straightforward just a reversal of how we got them off. First thing to go on is the return cable then we rotate this up and put in the, the uh, pull cable and then the plate goes on. And I showed you how to put the cap on when we were inside looking at uh, doing the shimming and everything. So then that gets tightened up, tighten these up, put the exhaust guard back on and we're done.